going to keep us true time today. Coming in here just to work on the stroke a little bit. And um, what I'm really doing <clears throat> is I'm perfecting my shot. You got to do this from in close. You have to do it on two feet. After your seated work, like I showed you in that last video, is done. So I like a lot of these form shots. I like about 200 of these to get going. And uh, sometimes people say that's excessive. But those people probably haven't played in too many games. I want you to get in the habit of getting the rebound before it hits the ground. This is something my coach at Bridgeport taught me. My job was to take the ball out of the bounds. So I would take it out of the net. And then my foot would go out. Oh, I missed the shot. How did you miss? All right, so now I'm going to start the jump shots. That's usually what I do. I'm going to save you the pain of watching 200 of these. And I'm just going to work on little baby jump shots now. And you're going to see this is just a little bit more than a form shot. And that's what shooting is. Shooting practice is progression. Teachers teach progression in a way that the learner can reproduce away from the teacher. It's independent skills, and it's something, ah, I dropped it. It leads to what we call transferable skill. Transferable skill is a way to test your teaching. If your players and the people you teach are doing what you want, ah, and they're doing it by design, then it means that you've taught transferable skill, right? So let's go ahead and keep this flow in, All right? We'll go ahead and take a look later, but we're really looking to get into a nice flow. I'll give you a look right from here, right? A nice flow, keep it in the mid range, 15 feet and in, just work there. Work your stroke. Just be comfortable about working in close. You don't have to do big deal and fancy. You just have to be accurate. So now, let's just go ahead and take some game setup shots, like a catch and shoot. Bring it right into position. Really comfortable. Let's catch from both sides. Again, comfort is the key because we're really just trying to establish a motor pattern that leads to confidence. Doing things too quickly before you should will deplete your confidence. I've played in basketball in high school, college, and pro to know exactly the type of confidence that you need. I know exactly how you have to drill. This is it, right? Sometimes people think like, hey man, there's no one playing you. Brother, sister, <laughs> I know how they're gonna play me when they do, so it really doesn't matter. Let's keep a stroke going. Ah. All right, let's keep it going. Now we can mix in a little, a little one dribble, right? Or a couple dribbles, either way, just, just something, something to get warm, something to allow you to mix up the monotony of it all. Because sometimes you can come into a gym and be like, oh, man. And then you come into a gym and you're like, oh, wait, LeManchak gave me this great idea. I'm going to come in and form shoot. And then after form shooting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these under control catch and shot jumpers, 
shoot a really high percentage and build confidence. That's what it's about. Building confidence. Thinking about the times in the game that you're gonna do these moves short and then using them. Right? I love basketball. I love to, to share my knowledge of the game and what I do best is train players for the game. Basketball strength is the program. It's a movement program that will keep you healthy. And it's like something that should be done by everyone on earth. Shot. Yep. Once I learned to shoot, oh boy. I went from 11.6 points a game, nine and a half rebounds, to 18 points a game, quick. Just like that. And what did I do? I sat in front of a rim, took shots. Yep, every day. Good. Yep. Just working, right? 